I'm Phil Walker, All Out Cricket Magazine. It's 2014 and we're at Lords. It's the annual, dare I say, iconic All Out Cricket gear test. And of course, the main reason we're here is to test out 40 of the best bats for 2014. Now, to help us get to that point, we have not only two competition winners who have come through from All Out Cricket, but we also have four ex-England internationals. We have Chris Adams, we have Paul Nixon, we have Aaron Brindle, the ex-England women's cricketer, and of course, we've got the daddy himself, Mr. Graham Gooch, is going to be joining us today to test out the bats. And here's how it works. The testers have a good hit with each bat, and then they mark it under three criteria. Now the first is obviously the first impressions. Everybody knows what it's like when they first pick up a bat, you get an instant feel for that blade. The second criteria, of course, is the pickup. It's all important to club cricketers. You know instantly when you pick up a bat if this is going to be a bat that works for you. And so we're looking for the weight distribution, how it feels in the hands, when you're in your stance, does it feel like a bat where you can play all the shots that you have available to you. The most important of the lot is how does the thing perform? It's how the ball comes off. That is the absolute final criteria to mark each bat. The first two are out of five. The final one, of course, the performance. How does, the, how does it go? How does the ball respond? That's out of 10. Then we have our mark of 20. Today's obviously uh, quite a fun day for, a, for any cricketer. Um, we're testing all this kit. We don't know what to what. what, what um, everything's all no stickers, no emblems, no nothing. So it uh, really is blind testing. So it's a great fun uh, you know, to get them and smash that ball as hard as we can. Uh, and it doesn't matter if we're going to get caught or not, then it's perfect. Things that I look for in a bat are uh, the feel of the bat, the pickup. It can't be too heavy because that limits your game. If it's too heavy, you're going to struggle to drop the bat foot. You're going to be late into the ball if you're going forward. So the bats are definitely picking up lighter with bigger pieces of wood nowadays than they ever used to. And it's given great advantages to batsmen. We've seen that in T20 cricket. And uh, you know, there's a massive choice out there and it's about getting it right for you. It's an incredible competition to win, something which obviously when I entered I had no idea that yeah. I was going to be here. I like a bat that with quite a high middle, I like to play sort of on the back foot when the ball is actually rising. Uh, about 12 to 14 grains, uh, two grips, um, fairly light pickup. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite a picky batter. Even though they say they haven't played in a while and they may have only played a few Masters games and things like that, watching Graham Gooch bat is just incredible. Um, still times it as well as anybody. Paul Nixon is just absolutely smashing it around. Um, same with Chris Adams, so yeah, it's an incredible sight really. Phil, the other competition winner, saw the, the competition advertised and he decided to send an email, apply, and then I just got a text off him telling me that we'd won, which was great news, great experience, I, can, I can't believe it really. Just right now they're stood behind me playing some shots and it's just incredible. There's some good bats in there, some of them went really well, so... I want to try and find out which ones they are so I can buy them for the season. I've been invited to obviously test uh, the cricket bats uh, for 2014 season with All Out Cricket as uh, a, a real privilege and it's kind of a, like a kid at Christmas. Um, all my sort of things that I used to love, I've been able, able to do it all morning so it's been fantastic. I guess obviously size is the first thing. Uh, you need to make sure the bat isn't too big for you, especially when you're starting out um, at the junior age groups and then it's about weight. Um, if you obviously uh, use too heavy a bat, you can't play the pulls and the cuts very well. So you have to get the balance between having the power in the bat as well as being able to obviously use it properly. I was stood next to Graham Gooch in the first net and he, he seemed to be hitting some nicely. I think he was playing in the one day mode or the 2020. I don't think there was many four defences there. So. I think if you're a, a batter of any um, conscience, the piece of wood you hold in your hand is very important. And, and one of the most important things is when you first pick that piece of wood up, you get the feel of the handle and what it looks like, the first impression is very important. For me, uh, the quality of the wood is the most important thing, so I like a close grain, narrow grain bat. The weights have, have maintained and, and levelled out similar, 210, 212, some three pounds, some a bit lighter, but the size of the bits of wood are, you know, no comparison to when I started back in the 70s. Well, it's strange because I feel very tired now. My shirt is absolutely soaking wet. I wasn't, I was trying to deliver my technique as best I could, but it's fallen into disrepair. I think I need to go back to the nets. I didn't realise how um, wide and diverse the range of cricket bats were in terms of weight, feel, look, design. Uh, it's fascinating. The bats seem much bigger 
now than I ever remember. I know that sounds a bit like an old pro, but I'm, I've only been retired five years, but they seem huge now. Uh, and the pickup on, on a lot of them is, yeah, is still very, very light. I knew what I, I liked and tended to stick with it in terms of cricket bats and, and other range of equipment. Very traditional uh, look and feel to my equipment. And I never really veered off that. I was very always, you know, I'm willing to try new things. But it's been, I say, a bit of a revelation today. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have done it. <laughs> I might have got a few more runs. Okay, we've been testing bats now for the best part of four hours, and the results are in. It's been one hell of a morning as ever. It's been hard and intense, and the 40 bats have been whittled down to a top three, which will be revealed in the magazine. But I can give you a sneak peek, and this bat here. This is the winning bat. Four ex-England cricketers, two competitions winners. They've come together and decided that this is the best bat on the market for 2014. But to find out what it is, you're going to have to go and buy the magazine, I'm afraid. It's on, the, it's on the newsstands now. It's available from all good news agents. And find out exactly what this bat is, the best for 2014.